So the first library that I'm here to talk about is the Asinex Biodesign. So I love this time of year. Uh, it's wonderful when the students get a chance to present the research that they've been working over over the uh, years in their thesis, both at the master's level and at the PhD level. And I think one of the things that, that uh, really hits you when you look at these presentations today is the wide diversity and the types of topics that these students are, are working from. Cancer to cardiovascular to uh, infectious disease. The research that we're focusing on is heart failure research and trying to treat it in more innovative ways, um, more specifically within these exosomes that have been derived from embryonic stem cells. So the reason that we're using, utilizing these key treatment um, compounds is because they have been very effective in inducing a state of regeneration within a damaged um, heart tissue. So today I presented my research on sour beer and its impact on human health. And so we study sour beer in the context of ecology, and the conclusions that we are able to draw from this, we can apply to the human microbiome as well. In our lab, we are working on a mouse model for uh, a dining mutation that causes Charcot-Marie tooth disease. Um, and Charcot-Marie tooth disease doesn't have anything to do with your teeth. It's a neuromuscular disorder. It's just named on the people that actually discovered the disease. Um, so in 2011, a mutation was found that causes uh, charcot Marie tooth disease, a specific type, type 2O. And that's related to a motor protein that our lab had already been studying for years. So that's how we kind of got into this field with a neuromuscular disorder. Um, so my lab mates have found that our mouse model is actually a good model for the disease because it has the phenotype, the symptoms that you would expect to see in human patients. So at every level, societal, university, and personal. What you're doing today is really an important thing. Typically the nitration of heat shock protein 90 at tyrosine residue 56. So we're very proud of these young scientists and the progress that they've made towards our thesis. 